You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk about what's going to go down while the big anniversary gala is going on. Some brand new spoilers photos confirm Jordan Howard terrorizes both the Abbots and the Newmans by targeting two that are not at the gala at a particular moment in time, and it's two of the younger and more vulnerable family members, Claire Grace and Harrison Abbott. And yes, they finally changed the kid's name on the official roster to Abbott. So we're going to dig in and talk about what happens and show you a pile of photos from the gala, including the kidnapping. But first, please click subscribe. So there's been a lot of speculation ever since Claire Howard started bonding with Harrison Locke at Crimson Lights that day that she might end up as his nanny or babysitter, and that would make the kid vulnerable to Jordan when and if she comes for her great niece, which seems inevitable. Up until now, there were no official spoilers or confirmation that anything was happening. It was just bloggers playing guessing games. Well, guess no more. Let's dive right in. We have official confirmed spoilers. So this Friday, April 12th, and likely carrying over onto the 15th to some extent, we have the big 40th wedding anniversary of Nikki and Victor's first trip down the aisle back in 1984. You can see that wedding photo there. And here's Nikki holding up some commemorative cupcakes from the gala event. Very nice. They want to celebrate their love and also draw Jordan Howard out of hiding so they can catch her yet again and hopefully keep her under wraps or six feet under this time. Everybody is dressed to the nines. It's all looking good. We've got shots of Nikki with Victor at the party together, eating cupcakes, dancing, and another one of them dancing while Michael Baldwin watches with a smile on his face. And of course, they have loved ones, family and friends on hand, including Lauren Finmore, who poses with them in a lovely orange gown. And she's, of course, there with her honey, Victor's lawyer, Michael Baldwin. And all of Victor's kids are on hand and seems to be playing nice. There's Adam and Nick and Victoria. And even Abby is there with the other three siblings at the gala. It's like they remembered all the Newmans, all the kids. How fantastic. Phyllis is there as well, hopefully on her best behavior since Nick is being nice to her. I wonder if he dared to bring her as his plus one or if Summer might have brought her. And they all definitely need to be on their best behavior because their daughter, Summer Newman, is there with them. But her evening is not going to end so well because of what Jordan's planning for poor little Harrison and Claire. And speaking of plus ones, there's Sally Spectra at the party with Adam Newman, and she's looking glam with her straight, gorgeous red hair. Love it. And by the way, it's not just Newman's there at the gala, but also Abbott's. And there's some interesting stuff there to consider. First, we have have Kyle, Jack, and Diane Jenkins Abbott. And that may be awkward because Kyle has decided he wants his mom's co-CEO job because he doesn't think she's got the skills to do it. And Summer is openly encouraging him to take the gig right away from his mother. So this might be the Abbott's last happy night in a while, especially considering what else is going on in the family right now, as we all know. Quick note, the reason the Abbott's are there at all and scored invites is because Nikki insisted that Victor let her invite Jack Abbott to their big night since he's her sponsor and he won't come without his wife Diane Jenkins Abbott. So Nikki has to suck it up and tolerate her too. So there's plenty of people on hand. Not Ashley, it seems, because she's in crisis and I don't see any shots of Sharon. So she may still be helping out with spiraling Ash. Same goes for Tracy Abbott. Also of note is that they included a photo of Kyle with Claire, but I seriously doubt she's his plus one. You never know though. But he definitely seems to have taken an interest in her. And I liked that this week, Summer called Kyle out for forgiving Claire so easily for trying to murder the Newmans while she kind of dropped the hint that he didn't give her, his wife at the time, the same benefit of the doubt over the whole, you know, her mom faking her death thing. So Diane chats with Phyllis at the party, and I hope they can be both civil and won't make a scene at the gala. And then here's a quick look at Abby Newman's handsome plus one, Devon Hamilton. Now that we looked at all the glitter 
Maserati in their pretty outfits, let's talk about why Victor's plan utterly fails. Every time he zigs, it seems Jordan Howard zags and she's often a few moves ahead of him. Now, granted, Victor and Nick got the best of her in that dank basement a few weeks ago, but this time Jordan's not taking their bait. Instead of showing up at the gala, she veers to where they didn't expect her and where there may not be a lot of security. Victor mentioned that his whole team, including Larry, I can't remember ever seeing Larry, but I've heard his name a bunch. Maybe I just forgot seeing him in passing. But anyway, the crack Newman security team, which seems like they're actually on crack because they miss everything, are at the gala and they are guarding everybody who is there at the GCAC. They feel good because it's in a secure environment. Sounds great, right? That leaves the Abbott house unguarded, it looks like. And you can see that Summer Newman is looking panicked in this photo as she gets a phone call that is quite unwelcome and disturbing. So I suspect that's about something going wrong at the Abbott house. Now, Claire Grace is dressed to the nines, as you saw in her photo with Kyle that they post for at the GCAC. So maybe Claire leaves the party to check on Harrison, or that's just a pic of them on set and Claire doesn't make it to the party. Not sure about the logistics and the order of things, but the bottom line is that next photo is Claire sitting in Harrison Abbott's bedroom at the Abbott Mansion. And of course, that's Claire with new recast Harrison Abbott, who's played by Redding Munsell. He has replaced Callan Enriquez. So they changed actors. Now he's the new Harrison Abbott. So Claire is reading him a story. And that's when things seem to go off the rails. And here's a wider snap of Claire in Harrison's room. And do you see who that is at the door? That is Claire's crazy Aunt Jordan. She took off all that facial hair she's been wearing, waxed it off, ditched the glasses and the men's tweed clothing. And she is head to toe in troublemaker black. Looks like she's out for combat or something. She skipped the gala and instead came somewhere to hit the Newmans where it hurts most by taking precious family members and that also hits the Abbott's heart because Summer is, of course, a Newman, and that makes her adoptive or stepson. I don't know if sure she actually adopted him. Harrison is a, a Newman grandkid as well. So do you see what's in Jordan's left hand? It looks like it's a cloth, probably for chloroform for her to drug and kidnap both Claire and Harrison. Now, that spoiler photo is all we have, but it seems like a very, you know, a, a very likely conclusion that they're kidnapped especially with the spoilers that say what Jordan does affects both families. And with Claire and Harrison both being taken by Jordan, yeah, that would definitely affect the Abbots and the Newmans both. And with that kind of leverage, I mean, gosh, Jordan can write her own ticket. So the suspicion is compounded when you look at this photo of Jack and Diane back at the Abbott house looking freaked out and concerned. And of course, Summer had that panicked look on that one phone call. So look for a kidnapping by the end of this week going into next week. And the big question Question is what is Jordan's end game and how long will she hold the, her hostages? Of course, we'll find out more in next week's full spoilers. So come back soon for that. And in the meantime, drop your comments on these exciting new spoilers picks. Subscribe if you have not and come back soon. We're here talking YNR seven days a week on your number one most followed soap opera spoilers channel. And this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>